So now I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that I use anteriorly when the client is face up. This will relax the muscles that lead into the hips and then affect the lower back muscles by relaxing them. Okay. As I do that, I will also show you my modified draping technique that I use while doing these stretches so that my client feels secure and comfortable while doing these. So the first technique is just a slow stretch, easing into the hip and hamstring stretch, which comes from the glutes, works its way up, slowly adding the lower leg. My client is very flexible from all of her years of activity and regular massages. Not everybody is this flexible, and I can feel that when I'm doing these techniques. If you do have any joint issues, you can still have these stretches done, but I'll modify them to make sure you feel comfortable and within the limits of your flexibility. <clears throat> just hold that and this in turn is flexing right from her heel through her calf into her knee her hamstring into her glutes and then into the low back muscles so that was the first one the second one is working the IT band which is right through here. It connects your knee to your hip. Runners often find that this gets very tight. Or actually anyone that does actual any activity with their legs. That's a nice stretch. This is a great stretch because you can only do so much by yourself, but with the resistance of me, it actually gives you that little bit more. And this gets the front of your leg, sartorius, the psoas, working both angles of your hip. So you're not you're not specifically working your quad muscles or your hamstring, but you're working all of it. And as a little bonus, you can do this is a little bit more that gets the psoas, which gets to the back of your spine, attaches to the back of your spine. This is a great stretch. And once again, I think she's adding a half an inch to her height. 